Welcome everyone here to Saugus Peabody Hockey here on Peabody TV YouTube and the local channels here in Peabody. Nick Raffio, Saugus native here, alongside Jay Camise. Camise. Yep. But we're happy to be here. Happy to be we're here. We're happy to be here as well. And uh, action has just started here. It's Susan makes a save. Hartman yeah. after the puck. Physical up on the boards already. Lost his helmet there. And now at the point, that was number 21, Ryan. And now here comes Saugus Peabody. Hotting it. Ooh, heavy on there. And now here comes the big, oh, here comes the tennis now. Here comes Dante Morrow, the comes. captain. Oh! Off the dasher. And now here comes Locke. He's their top goal scorer for Swampscott, Ronan Locke. Ronan Locke with the puck, still carrying the puck into the Saugus end. In. Oh. And now here comes Swamps. Swamps got the big blue. At the point, here comes Hitchcock. Down. On the other side of the line, Saugus PB try to clear. There we go. Swamp Scott has to regroup. That was Hitchcock right behind the net. Couldn't complete the pass to Langevin. And faceoff will be into the Swamp Scott zone. We got no score here. 13 17 left. Swan Scott in the blue and white, and uh, Peabody Saugus in the Carolina blue and white jerseys. That is correct. Saugus Peabody shot there by Carney. Behind the net. Oh, big oh. hit there by Barrows. Right in, Marrow. Not a big hit. Logged him in. Up now to Roddy. Cleared Roddy. In. Clears zone. Behind the Whoa, that was a big hit there. That one's blocked. To the corner. Now it's up to the point. Hitchcock. Shot. Saw gets ice the puck. That's going to go for icing. Yes, it is. 12 31 to go in the period. No score here. I think there's going to be a physical game here, Nick. I think both teams are. Up for the challenge. Saugus Peabody coming into this game at two and eight. And Swamp Scott is coming into this game with five and four. Five and four. One and two in the Northeastern Conference. Shot there, saved by Sousa with a pad. At the point, wrist shot. Oh, that one steered aside. Swans got behind the Saugus goal. To the point. That one went off of Souza. Saugus iced the puck. The Tannis, I should say. <laughs> and that's going to go for ice. So my background is, I, I've done this for Saugus High School yeah. last year. For Saugus TV down there. This is great. It's, it's so nice that, you know, uh, PBD is able to, to co-op with Saugus. Yes. And uh, it's just great for them to have a team on the ice this year. Yeah, PBD didn't have a team last year. And now get back to action. Yeah. At the point now, that is Ryan. Ryan now with the puck now. That's their captain. Ryan. Oh, Whoa! Oh. Ryan big, Jones! Big spill right there. That one goes wide. Oh. Polaris tried to clear. Lock. Pacheco Lock. back. Pacheco by the penalty. Oh! Case. Racing for the puck. Dante Morrow. Morrow. Shot save made there by Papalardo. 
That is Dom. Who has brother Frankie who's on the team as well. And now behind the goal. Behind the goal. It's Tyson Higgins after the puck. Higgins to Larry Barrows. Barrows shot blind. Oh, that one. Oh, nearly. Nearly went by the net. Zach Hartman jumps Harden. it in. The big blue has it recovered. Now here comes Saga TV players. Big Blue has to tag up and regroup once again. Both, te both teams are fast, right, Jay? Really, they're, they're moving around. It, 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 it's a high-tempo game. No, oh, that one went off the stick of Higgins. Line change from PVD, Saugus. New leg, come on. Souza passed that one side. Saugus so try to get out of their own zone. Get it out of there. Up against the boards. Went off the stick. That was number 16. That was Tim TJ McCartney. Oh. I wonder what this is. Face-off will be in the Swampscott end. 9.34 to go in the period. Roddy. And shot there. That was Roddy. And now PBD's here comes Tanners. Wants to go after that puck. Trying to clear it. That one was wide up. At the point now, that was Hitchcock. Blocked. Carney after the ball, the puck. Whoa! 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 And That's a score! The score! And Swamp Scott's up one nothing. I'm trying to see who that was. And that, that that must be McCarthy, number sixteen. It was T.J. McCarthy with that goal. One nothing, big blue. Both teams giving you know a lot of pressure behind the net in, in front. Both goaltenders have been busy, so Long Scott first to score. Let's see if Saw against Peabody could respond. And now here comes Big Blue. Back. Behind the goal. And now Peabody Saw is looking to get the puck out. Oh! Over there is the point over by the circle. And Souza has oh. a clamp over the puck and make the save. He has been busy. He has been. Face off to the right of Souza. Turley. And now that is number 21, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Now Swamp Scott keeps it in to Sockets. Sockets keep it in. Now. Lots of pressure in that zone. Off the boards, off the kick plate. That one goes over the corner. Sargis Peabody, here comes Dante Morrow. Oh! Looking for Polaris. That one didn't connect. Just. There was a. They had two guys coming in towards the goal, and Dante just almost had Polaris. That one goes wide. They're firing all oh. sorts of shots on goal. Hartman with a big party check there. Shot, Shot saved by Souza. Souza. Ashton Souza is the starting goalie for the Tanners. 
this evening. In front, oh, oh Sousa's. Oh. And on a rebound, that one goes in. Two nothing, Swamp Scott. He almost on that second one. Almost made a big stop, but he did make a big save the first shot. Yeah. And that was number nine that got. That was Bartram. Jackson Bartram. Now Swamp Scott with a two nothing advantage. Yep. So a lot of hockey left. A lot can be done here. Physical, physical game, so. Block. So has a shot from the point, and Souza has a squeeze, squeeze to the puck. Make the save right at his belly. He was coming in hard, Lock was, but there was Souza. And uh, I think we're going to get a penalty. And it's going to be Andrew Pinto going to the box. So a power play coming up for the Big Blues. August PBD to the PK. There we go. And now lock. here comes Lock. Lock. Behind the goal. At Nelson. Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Now it is. That was number six. That was Roddy. Now here comes Swamp Scott. Hitchcock. I, it's kind of hard to see those. The fonts there with the black and white. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see the numbers. I know Locke's from the four, man. Shot! Oh! Oh! That one went top corner. What a shot what that a nice. was. That was pretty, pretty, pretty one. Quinn Hitchcock. Three to nothing, Swamp Scott. And we're only at 553 left. In, in the, the first, first period. In the first. Hartman. So he's trying to get the puck out of the zone. Dante Morrow, he's a good skater. He's, we... he's a good hockey player. He's got good skills. Here comes Ryan Jones. I call Ryan him Jonesy. Jones. Shot. Oh, Papalato. And Papalato makes a save. It's been a while since they've been down there, but that was a good attempt. Face up to the right of Dom. Harden yep. from the point. That one went off the stick. Swamp Scott. But a rush up ice. Gains the blue line. It's Harden. Oh, Hit there. Now here comes Dante Morrow on here the rush. Here comes Morrow. Dante coming up on the left side. Oh. Trying to make a move. Behind. Dante. That went off oh. the glass. That was goes to Jonesy. Oh. Shot. Save made. Oh. 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 A little emotional. A little emotional there and some words. And now the face off will be to the right of Papalardo. And now Swan Scott win the draw. Block. Back. Oh. Oh, he's got some speed. That's a nice move right there. Shot by Locke, saved by Souza. Hey. He tried to duck. He ducked. Locke. Lock. That 
that one went off the glass. Oh, 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 he got crunched in by Gene Cunningham. Wow. Shot, oh, oh. there's a dinger. Shot. Oh, whoa. 350 to go in the period. Three nothing. Got a big blue. Pacheco. He's a big boy. Oh yeah. I believe he is a uh, six foot two, two hundred and sixty-five pounds. Wow. That's a big boy. Oh. Shot Susan McSave. And they clear the puck. And that's gonna go pricing. Yep. And the face up will go all the way down the other end. <laughs> Lots of action. A lot of action in front of Sousa. Absolutely. If you're just oh. joining us, three nothing big blue. Still in the first. And now here comes Swamp Scott. Tempo is picking up a little bit. And now it's Tyson Higgins. Here comes Larry Barrows. And now here comes Swamp Scott. Goes to the three. That was Langdevin. It's Langdevin. Langdevin. That's the pronunciation for his name. Barrows, he gets tripped, and oh. that is going to be a penalty. Yep. For a stick there between skates. A little fall down. And Tannis in a power play. With 2.38 to go in the first period. Maybe, maybe opportunity to get a goal, maybe. Yeah. Before the first period ends, that'd be nice. Nice to see. But the, oh. the penalty killers have a rush up. Oh. And now here comes Dante. Here comes Dante. Dante. Oh. Over there to Jonesy. Pretty fast to Jones. To Dante. Dante still has it. To Jones. Jones. Whoa. Whoa. He went for a tough angle shot there. Morowitz shot to save. And now here comes the penalty kills again. Here comes Swamp Scott short handed. Oh. Wide. Wow. That was luck. Ronan luck. Oh. Shot there. That was Polaris. <laughs> August Peabody, Roops, Jones. Whoa! Oh, wow! He lays him down. He wanted to walk with Peabody. Then arms up. There might be a five on three here. Yeah. This is entertaining. This is very entertaining. This game is not lacking physicality, I can tell you. This is going to be a physical game, I can tell you. And we're still in the first period. It is. It's still in the first period. 126 to go. Absolutely unbelievable. Five on three for 51 seconds. And then an abbreviated power play. That one's blocked. Whoa. Whoa. A little tank off there on the boards. Andrew Pinto. Pinto. Pass here. Dante Morrow. Saugus Nato. Dante. Oh oh, 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 oh! Right between the legs. That would have been a great goal there. Here comes Swole. Oh, 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 he lost an edge. Wow. A little acrobatics here. Pinto. Dante with a shot. Kick save. Oh. Papalardo make the stop to slow things down here. 
39 seconds. We're under a minute to go here in the first period. Three nothing, big blue. From the swamp. That is Faya. Winding down. Down to 25 on the clock. See if they can get something going. Pacheco. Oh, the big man at the puck. Oh, oh. that would have been sweet. Dante. Under five seconds. And that's going to wrap it up for the first period. Buzzer sounds. That ends the first. Yep. One period and two more to go. Physical, physical game. Let's see how the second period will go. Nick Graffio, Jay. I'm Jay Case. Case. Yep. We'll be right back here on PVD TV. DC Rentals has been in business for almost 30 years, offering state-of-the-art radio communications and security camera systems. DC Rentals is able to cater our system and scale it down to any size event, large or small. Our custom-built trailers are designed for fast deployment with full video and communication capabilities. We offer top-of-the-line Motorola and Hytera dispatch of radio equipment, along with Telex and Zetron consoles. DC Rentals Mobile Command Trailer is also available for special events or emergencies. In addition, we provide individual and group training sessions on all of our equipment, as well as 24-hour customer service. DC Rentals can be reached at 781-289-3000 or on the internet at dcrentals.net. DC Rentals is a proud sponsor of Peabody TV. Observe the domesticated human family in their natural habitat, known to their species as the backyard. Hey, you think I should light it now? Yeah. Oh dear, someone is about to burn a pile of debris that's too tall, which can start a wildfire. Wait, could it be? Blimey, oh, it is. It's Smokey. It's Smokey Bear. What a legend. What's he hey, it's Smokey. Sorry, it was too high. Right. Watch as he astutely ensures that there's no wind, and how he removes some of the debris to create a smaller, safer burning pile. No, you can't make it bigger. No, you can't make it bigger, baby. The bigger, the better. Take note right. of our fearless okay. furry friend here, yeah. humans. I appreciate it. Just bump. <laughs> He's watching you. Smokey's done it again. Bye, Smokey. Only you can prevent wildfires. Thank you. When I first saw Turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with Turtle is a perfect day. He's an incredible companion and my best friend. 
when I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. It's a sensory thing. It's a thing with Asperger's. I've seen adults react to my daughter when she has meltdowns, like she's from a different planet than this little animal just sat next to my child and was just like, you know, it's going to be cool. When I retired from the Navy, I found myself in a void in my life that had been filled by the people that I served with. Tommy really brought an important factor to my life. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. 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 I am what hunger looks like in America. I am an eight-year-old girl who's not excited for the last day of school. Because this may be the last time I'll have lunch. Till September. I am a single father of two who works three part-time jobs. And that's still not enough to put food on the table. I am a 16-year-old boy who just got my first job to help feed, feed my, my little sisters. I was created by artificial intelligence from faces of the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. People you pass by every day but never knew they were hungry. Feeding America, 200 food banks strong. Kids! I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Families don't have to talk about everything, but they should talk about how to plan for an emergency. Kids, you all right? This family's prepared. Get tips and resources to make your family's emergency plan. Dad? Just one minute, okay? Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey. Why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Do stars visit their friends? Look! Dad! They took over my bedroom! Come on, come on! Okay, Dad. One, two, three. Ah! find you. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Hey guys, today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time.
kisses. Give kisses. Look. Give kisses. Give kisses. You heard how loud that was. I know. I heard. That. I heard. It, 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 it wasn't you. Yeah. It was the. Is that bacon? You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Community media is blessed with the opportunity to demonstrate leadership and the importance of activism. While providing the community access to tools to engage in racial and social justice work and to amplify that work. Join Alliance for Community Media on how to use media to untangle the deeply embedded threads of racism in America in pursuing racial justice and equity in community media. If I could go back and change it all, I would. I, would. I think I'm going to miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's just a little moment. I could go back and change, go back and change it all. I could go back. I would. But I can't. Roll over. Can't five five. All right. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother and her. I am totally a hot person. Right, guys? Thanks for being honest. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Adopt pure love at theshelterpetproject.org. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Welcome back, everyone. Nick Raphael alongside Jay Camise yep. here at the McVan Rink. Second period is just underway. And save made there by Dom. It's goalie for Swampscott. And that first period, I'll tell you, it was, a, it was a physical affair. So we're looking for more of the same. And uh, let's see how the second period goes as we face towards the ice here. All right. Second period. It's about a minute into the second period. Shots, oh, oh saved by Souza. Locke was coming in hot on that one. Oh, he was coming in fast. Lots of speed, lots of speed with, uh, with Swamp Scott. Got a lot of speed. He's also their lead goal scorer. That's why I heard. Yeah. Oh, oh watch out. Almost got that one. That, that one. one went up the netting. Face-off will be to the right of Souza. On our side. Right here. Here comes Larry Barrows. Barrows. Oh, nice move. Clears it Whoa. in. Oh. Papalato. And now here comes Swam Scott. Here comes... The big blue. Here they come back. Ryan went a lot of speed. And now it is, that was number 27. That was Tristan Joyce. Higgins. That is no icing. Nope. You know, I know you said it earlier, but uh, this crowd is loving it. They're having a great time. I'm sure they are. I had experience at Saugus TV doing this. I'm bringing everything to the table to this 
<laughs> Peabody TV coverage. Absolutely. This is great. Off the draw. Down was Pacheco. Polaris. Oh. oh, oh. Went into the, Behind the net. glass. Pacheco. That one goal is wide. Tango back. behind the net there. They brought it sick. back. And that, that was number 22. That was Lockhart. Now here comes Swanscott. Sticked aside there by. Oh. Oh, that one went wide to Souza. In front, that one didn't go. Shot from Circle. Oh, oh wraparound score. Oh, he scored. Will Roddy. Will Roddy, nice little wraparound. Sniped right in there. Wraparound snipe. 4 nothing. Twelve eighteen left in the period. Here in the second. Here on PVD TV. As part of our Saugus TV, PVD TV collaboration. Yeah. And sticking for the puck. Oh, and Ace. Oh, Tipinaski's in. Evan Tipinaski's in the net. Must, uh, Coach Marshall must have had a. Goalie change. Yes. Saugus, PBD. And now here comes, that is Josh Lewis. Lewis. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Went. He would have kept going if that board wasn't there. Now here comes Swamp Scott. Here they come. Gaining a lot of speed towards Good the try. middle. Oh. That one oh. went off target. At the point. And now shot. That one almost tipped there. Now Wickham Fog. That's a hard name to pronounce. Yes. I got one name correct. <laughs> Whoa, oh. oh, he got crunched. Oh, oh. And now uh, he comes. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. Here comes PBD Saugus. Now Swamp Scott with the puck. Game to blue line. Whoa. And almost went offside, but oh, yeah. Zach Hartnett iced the puck, went off the stick of Higgins. Puck got dumped in by Swamp Scott. Here comes the blue. At the point now. Now it's Rothwell. Sarkis PBD trying to clear the puck out of the zone. Bumps got flying the pressure. Sarkis does ice the puck. I believe that went a little bit off the, the yeah. dasher? The blue dasher. <laughs> Maybe that's why they, they, Maybe. they put a whistle. Yeah, because I think it the way it went off. So here we go. 9.55 left. 4 nothing game. Ooh. And Sock is Peabody trying to put get the it pressure. Out of there. Put, put the pressure in on Swan Scott. Whoa. Oh, that Whoa. one went wide. And here comes, here comes Lock. Lock, the defenseman. On forward. This is forward. 
he could he's, he could be a two yeah. two way guy. Yeah. And now here comes the big blue. Oh, almost on the wraparound. He almost did the Michigan. Wow. That one goes rising. Sockets ice that one. We're in the second period. China yeah, waiting. He's been busy, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Timonaski is also a busy man in the net. Yes. Battle for the ball, battle on the boards. Larry Barrows has the puck in front of him. Barrows, that one gonna be offside. Barrows is another good size. They got some good, good size players on this PBD Saugus team. Yeah, you got three of them. That was Pinto. And now Swan's gun. Now Higgins. Swan's got now carrying the pressure with the puck on the offensive side. And that is going to be icing. Saugus will ice that. The Tanners. PBD Saugus Tan and sense the name of his team. Yeah. Ryan Jones, along with Polaris and Pacheco and Morrow on the line, and Zach Hartnett. That's the line out, and that's going to be icy. Tannis. I see that one. Still have the same line out there. We got the Jones and Morrow line out there. Yep. With the uh, the freight train, the big man, Trevor Pacheco. Oh, right. Whoa! Right underneath us. Right underneath us with a big check. Morrow shot save. Oh. Oh, the oh. puck was loose. Here comes the big blue. Setting up. Oh, oh, right around him. Shot. Oh. Save made by Tibinoski. Ryan Jones, a.k.a. Oh. Jonesy. And here comes Zach Harden. Takes a body check there. Here comes the big blue with a lot of speed. Stolen there by Polaris. Oh. And that one goes into the glove of uh, Papalardo. He's going to play it. Yeah. Dante Morrow. And battle against the boards. Here they come Here up, Bites. Shot, oh. that one went wide. Here comes the big blue. What a cannon! Save made by Timonoski. You know what? What I mean by cannon? A slap shot. <laughs> I got a lot of hockey terms. <laughs> but let you use them all. Oh. And. The Tanners will ice the puck. A little bit more defensive hockey this uh, second period so far. A lot of defensive hockey. Just the one goal from Paul Scott thus far. And that's going to be iced. But it's going to stay into the Saugus PBDN. That one went off the boards. Drop past it. Went underneath us. Carney. Carney. 
That one. Oh, oh, there goes a stick. There goes a three hundred dollar stick on the ice. Whoa, 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 Josh Lewis. That was Joyce. And now here comes Swamp Scott in front, and that one went wide to Tomanowski. From the circle oh, oh, oh. shot, went off glass. Here comes the big blue, our speed. That's going to be offside. And they'll grab that stick. Oh, they'll grab the <laughs> stick that uh, <laughs> that they dropped in the middle of the play. The stick was on there for, for a little bit. Yep, it was on the ice the whole entire time. Yeah. One there by the tins. Now here. Oh, whoa, that one. With old Larry Barrows went off a stick. That went off the that the end. yellow. Now here comes again Swamp Scott. Block. He fan on that one. Underneath us, here comes Big Blue. Ooh, takes a body check there by Hardin. Saved by Timonoski. And a backhander goes in. Aiden Sprague. He is their captain. He's a senior, their senior captain. Yeah. So first Roddy in the in the second and now Sprague. Sprague? Sprague. Oh, that one. It's offside. Sprague, Sprague. That's that's a correction there. Yeah. That's the way I'm gonna pronounce it. <laughs> Dante shot and that oh. one went off the netting out of play. 4.35 left. This period's been quick. Fast moving period. Yeah, the, you know, a lot of defense we got here. We got a replay. We got the instant replay. Oh, there's oh. going to be a penalty. And I wonder who the penalty is going to be on. Looks like it's going to be on Joyce. Yep. Oh, for hold. Two minutes for holding. So he'll take a seat. Penalty kill coming up for PBD Saugus. Big kill, big kill to go. And Swan's going on the power play. Swan's trying to clear, but Swan's got keeps it in. Setting up. Here it comes. Oh, oh no. Here comes Lock at the point. Lock. Shot. That one went off glass. Power play unit on for Big Blue. From the circle. Shot. That one blocked. From the other circle. Shot. That went over the net. Up right, right over. Timnoski's. That and that one's probably gonna go for a high stick. Yeah. According to the official. And the face off will be in 
to the Swamp Scott Jim end. He gets a little bit of a breather. That was a busy few minutes for him. A lot of action in front of him. Swamp Scott wins the face off, and now Swamp Scott will regroup. Here comes Locke. Locke with a lot of speed. Stolen by Barrows. He's going to ice it down. Yes. And now Swamp Scott still has 45 seconds on the power play. Shot the oh. oh. oh, that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, and Barrows yeah. takes a hit. Shot. Oh, oh, no, that one hit off the post. That one went off the post. Another dinger. That's the second one we heard tonight. Wow. Busy, busy. Definitely getting a lot of shots on that. I'm trying to think how many. Probably like... 30 40 yeah, shots. Would, yeah. Quite a bit. Maybe, maybe less. Been busy, been maybe less very than busy. That. that one right the dasher. And now here comes the big blue. Ten seconds left on the uh, power play. And Saugus Peabody has kill off, kill off the penalty. Trevor Pacheco went off a skate of Polaris, and that's going to go for icing. Face off will be in Tevinowski's end. Looks like they got one, two, three, four, five, like four or five seniors on Swamp Scott. Wow. Looking at the roster. And Whoa. Whoa. Wow. 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 Pacheco. And now Swamp Scott in front. Oh, oh what a save there wow. by Evan. Timonowski up to the challenge. Here comes the big blue. That is Roddy. Shot. Oh, no, went off the Pinto. That one. Clear it. Dante regrouping. Backhanded pass. Here comes Jones. He dumps it in. Ryan Jones after the puck. Dante goes this way in that. We're about at the minute mark of the first period, uh, second period. One minute remaining in the second period, according to the PA system. Five nothing, Swan shot over Saugus Beebe. And that's going to go for icing. Five nothing, Swamp Scott. So I got to tell you about last season for Saugus High. Yeah, Saugus Sages. They made it to the D three tournament, and they they lost to Assabet Valley in the first round. Wow! All the way up in Marlboro. Saugus Sog had a good team last year. Yep. And there's about maybe like five or six returning players to this team from last year's team. That's a little bit of uh, history. Yeah. For from my hometown sports. From, from, from Saugus. And both both teams do have quite a, a hockey history, so it, it's wonderful that they're able to uh, work together. Yes. It's great for hockey. It's great for the kids. Yes, and I, I heard in the. Uh, in our broadcast, in a couple of our broadcasts with me early in the year, that is is always good for Saugus to join PVD's program because PVD did not have a team last year. Yes. 
it's always good to have Koa. So if they make the playoffs, they're going to be in a D1 tournament. Yes. And they're currently a D1 team. That ends the period. All right. Five nothing. Slums got at the end of two. Yes. Well, uh, we'll see what the final period will bring. The so, third. So first period we got very physical hockey. Second period defensive hockey. Slums got this goal to two goals. Like you said, I don't know what we're going to see, but I know it's going to be good on the third period. Let's see how the third period is. Nick Raphael, Jay Camise. We will be right back here on PBD TV. DC Rental has been in business for almost 30 years, offering state-of-the-art radio communications and security camera systems. DC Rentals is able to cater our system and scale it down to any size event, large or small. Our custom-built trailers are designed for fast deployment with full video and communication capabilities. We offer top-of-the-line Motorola and Hytera dispatch of radio equipment, along with Telex and Zetron consoles. DC Rentals Mobile Command Trailer is also available for special events or emergencies. In addition, we provide individual and group training sessions on all of our equipment, as well as 24-hour customer service. DC Rentals can be reached at 781-289-3000 or on the internet at dcrentals.net. DC Rentals is a proud sponsor of Peabody TV. Observe a domesticated human family in their natural habitat, known to their species as the backyard. Hey, you think I should light it now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear, someone is about to burn a pile of debris that's too tall, which can start a wildfire. Wait, could it be? Blimey, oh, it is. It's Smokey. It's Smokey Bear. What a legend. Hey, it's Smokey. Sorry, it was too high. Right. Watch as he astutely ensures that there's no wind and how he removes some of the debris to create a smaller, safer burning pile. No, you, can't. Make it no, you can't make it bigger, baby. The bigger, the better. Take note right. of our fearless right. furry friend here, yes. humans. I appreciate it. Fist bump. <laughs> Watch it, you. Smokey's done it again. Bye, Smokey. Only you can prevent wildfires. Thank you. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. He's an incredible companion and my best friend. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. It's a sensory thing. It's a thing with Asperger's. I've seen adults react to my daughter when she has meltdowns, like she's from a different planet. And this little animal just sat next to my child and was just like, you know, it's going to be cool. When I retired from the Navy, I found myself in the void in my life that had been filled by the people that I served with. Tommy really brought an important factor to my life. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. 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 I am what hunger looks like in America. I am an eight-year-old girl who's not excited for the last day of school. 
because this may be the last time I'll have lunch. Till September. I am a single father of two who works three part-time jobs. And that's still not enough to put food on the table. I am a 16-year-old boy who just got my first job to help feed my little sisters. I was created by artificial intelligence from faces of the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. People you pass by every day but never knew they were hungry. Feeding America, 200 food banks strong. Kids! I don't want to talk about it. 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 Families don't have to talk about everything, but they should talk about how to plan for an emergency. Kids, you all right? This family's prepared. Get tips and resources to make your family's emergency plan. Just one minute, okay? Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! took over my bedroom. Come on, come on. Okay, Dad. One, two, three. Ah! Dad! You saved me. Okay? I'm fine, dear. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Hey guys, today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. Give kisses. Give kisses. Look. Give kisses. Give kisses. <laughs> How loud that was! I know. I heard. I heard. It, 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 it wasn't you. Yeah. It was the. Is that bacon? You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Bacon.
Community media is blessed with the opportunity to demonstrate leadership and the importance of activism. While providing the community access to tools to engage in racial and social justice work and to amplify that work. Join Alliance for Community Media on how to use media to untangle the deeply embedded threads of racism in America in pursuing racial justice and equity in community media. If I could go back and change it all, I would. I, would. I think I'm going to miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's just a little moment. I could go back and change, it. Back and change it all. I could go back. I would. But I can't. Roll over. Can't high five. All right. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother. And I want to love you, baby. I am totally a hot person. Right, guys? Thanks for being honest. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Adopt pure love at the shelterpetproject.org. Welcome back, everyone, here to the McVan Rink here on PVD TV. Nick Raphael. Jay Kinnis. Jay Kinnis. Now we're going to show you the instant replay. See this? And the puck does go in the net. There it goes. Pa past Kibanowski. That's one of our camera angles. Up one of the Swamp Scott goals. That's on the recent, that's, that's the recent goal. The most recent one, yeah. The most recent one in the second period. So we'll see what, 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 uh, what kind of hockey game we'll get in the third period. We'll see what happens as, uh, the third period faceoff. It's just happen right now. Ryan Jones. On the face-off. And this oh. third period is underway. Hope you enjoy it. We are live on YouTube and uh, streamed everywhere. everywhere. Anywhere. And saved me there by Papalardo. And it's also streamed in the city of Peabody on Peabody TV. Correct. So whoever viewers, hope you enjoy I want to thank PBD TV for letting us do the game tonight. Yeah, we were having a blast. Harden. Off of Polaris, and now it's PB. Swampscott, my correction. <laughs> PB Saugus and Swampscott battling against the boards. Still battling. Now it's PBD Saugus. Shoot on our side this time, like in the first. Oh, who crazy play there. Is that still Timonowski? Is that still Evan Timonowski is right? And now here, whoa, he took a little tumble there. In front. Whoa. And it found the net. Found the inside of the net. Yeah. Swamp's got. And it's now 6 nothing. That's Sprague again. That's number two for Aiden Sprague. So that's two for Sprague. Senior captain for the Big Blue. Higgins. And now Swampscott has control of the puck. Here they come. Langevin. Behind. Goes over oh. there. Whoa, oh. oh, oh. Racing after the puck. And now he has to take a sharp turn. Yeah. Oh. That was Hitchcock. Larry. Whoa, barrels almost per shove. 
Getting pretty physical on both yeah. on both sides. Both teams are hit putting the body on. Bowles has to get up. And now here comes Swan Scott regrouping. Look to go Whoa. around them. That was Tristan Joyce. Saugus so Peabody trying to put the party on. At the point now, walks in, shot, and that was Hitchcock. Oh, that one went by his stick. That's going to be... That's going to be no ice. Nothing. No ice. Hitchcock. Hitchcock dumps it in. That one goes wide. Shot. And Timonoski makes a save. I believe so. And now here comes the Tanners. Here they come. Josh Ooh. Lewis dumps it in. Oh. Ooh. And now Swanscott t- takes a big body check there. We don't have tw- we don't have 24 on our roster. No. Whoa, not a dinger. That's number three of the night. That one's blocked. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh! Zach Hardin went to the boards hard. He gets right up. Swamp Scott. Dumps it in save. on Tibinowski and he makes a save with his glove to stop the, to stop the play. Fresh legs on the ice as a full change comes out for both teams. Ryan Jones, Nathan Polaris, yep. Dante Morrow, that line's out. Along with Trevor Pacheco, watch out in the crowd on the other side over by the Peabody cheerleader side. Lots of action. Absolutely. You gotta love all the action. It, it really has. I mean, we've had we've seen a lot. It's been great. That's part of the game. That one went up with a tanner. That was Dante. Dante, whoa. Whoa. Dante Morrow, the senior captain. Whoa. Dante in front. That one comes Dante. Lost it. And now here comes the Swamp's got big blue. Oh, oh. 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 wow. Oh, wow. Peabody has it. And that is off his morns. Dante oh, save Dante. made. That was a big hit and a save there. Now here comes. Oh, oh, that was Pacheco with a shot, and that one hit up the crossbar and up and out of play. The big guy snuck that one in. Oh yeah, he has. A, he has a good shot. Tyson Higgins must face off. And now here comes Swamp's got big blue. Ooh, keeps hold on to the puck. Angel Pinto. Goes into the corner. Now Swamp's got keeps it in. Shot by Langevin. And scores. Oh, scores. Cody Langdebeck. He's had some nice shots all, all evening. He, he got one through. Well, Saugus Peabody is in a big hole here. Down six. Still got 940 left. 
in the hockey game. Tibinoski and Ashton Souza both have a lot of pucks to the net. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh! Thought that might have been a high stick on that. There is nothing on that. No arm up. Here comes Peabody Saugus. That one's blocked on the way. There by Ryan Jones with a body check. Here comes Swampscott with a oh. with a move, and that one goes behind the net. Players collide. Whoa! Oh wow! Oh no! Wow! Whoa! Oh boy! Oh! They don't like that. Oh, this could be ugly. Well, a lot, lots to sort out here. Lots to sort out. This one's still, uh, still simmering a little. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're gonna see what it's going to happen. Nick, you had a feeling that it was gonna boil a little, and uh, this is what you got. Find out in a second. See, looks like this could be rough and Matt, rough and Myers. Well, now let's see on the scoreboard. See how much time these penalties are. Yeah. When we see on the time. Well, we got some uh, supporters coming down. Yeah. Two minutes on the clock. On, and that's going to be a, I think it's going to be a penalty on Sox. Both guys in the box. Sort things out. They put two, two, two minute period, uh, two, two minutes. Oh, look at that. So it's going to be a five on three for Swampscott. Three skaters on Saugus. That is Saugus Peabody. That is Lockhart. Trevor Pacheco. And I believe it's Tyson Higgins. Three skaters out for Saugus Peabody. At the point. Five on three for Swampscott. Five on three power play. Oh, that one fanned. Oh. And that one's going to be iced down. The length of the ice. Bob's got to bring it back up. Hitchcock. And now here comes Roddy. Roddy with the puck. Roddy still has it. Oh, all the still way around. Still shielding with it. Still shielding the puck. Here's with Ross. Hitchcock. Oh. Trickles behind the goal. At the point now. Over there. Gliding in. Takes a shot. Wow. Low from the circle. And that one will go into the Swampscott end. And Swampscott will regroup. 55. On the power play. 55. 52 left on the 5 on 3. This, is, this has been a big kill for the Tanners. Yeah. There has been one clear out of this whole penalty kill. Here comes the big blue. And set up. From the point, the circle. Whoa, that oh, one hits wow. off the post. We heard a lot of posts tonight. 
here on a Saturday night here at McVean. Lots of excitement tonight. We got like big physical hockey. You come to the right place. Shot there by Locke. Went out the glass. In front, Locke. Timonoski was outside of his priest. And I wonder what... Oh, what do we have here? wonder what uh, Buzzer sounded for. For the, for, for the players that come out of the penalty box? I, I don't know what the... Yeah. I don't know what... What it is here? Why they blow? Why they blew the buzzer? Hartnett still in the box. He's about to come out. And he is unleashed outside of the penalty box. Back to even strength now. Back at five on five. Whoa! Wow! Right behind, right underneath. Zach, us. Ha Zach Hartnett went to the boards below us. That one went out the side of the net. Here comes Jonesy. Wow. Here comes Swanscott. And Simonoski makes the save. Oh. Oh. And Pacheco. He is down. He's down. Oh. Oh, he gets up. He gets back up. On his own. He is going to, that's going to leave a mark. Looks like the. Uh, upper upper body. Up. Upper body, yeah. Well, it's like upper body. So something. Something got him. Oh, Pacheco will go to the bench. To get checked on. See what... See what the trainers have to say. Still, still battling. Swamp's got in front. That one goes wide to Tibinoski. Oh, oh, Larry Barrows. Here he comes. Oh. Got picked off. Oh. Papalardo. Papalardo up to the challenge. And now Tyson oh, Higgins. Oh, wow. Andrew Pinto. Wow. Five fifteen left. You know, not to sound cliche, I mean, it doesn't feel like a six nothing game. No, it does not. Oh, loose puck. Oh, oh, we got a slashing penalty coming yep. up. We got a slash. Oh, they're gonna go on the big blue. Let's take another look. Let's take a That was the last goal. Yeah. That was on the instant replay. Oh, loose puck. Cross the P. Oh. Oh, oh! oh! What a big save there by Evan Timonoski. Pretty Keeping play that by Evan. Dante. Dante. Setting up. Gonna go across. Drop on the point. Shot save made. There by Papa Lardo. Oh. The, the one of the seniors is not playing due to a two game suspension. That is Michael Capone. Uh huh. That's why he's he hasn't played. He didn't play the last game in at Salem State. He's sitting out this game. He's he's gonna return the next game. When uh when we play Gloucester next weekend. That should be a good one. That should be a good, 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 good game. I heard that they have a good team. One thirteen left on the Swamp Scott penalty. Sockets power play. Sockets PB power play. Whoa. 
And a foot race to the puck. Andrew Pinto beats it to the puck. And that one went off the stick. That one got deflected. And that one will go into the Swanscott end. Swanscott lies it. And now Ryan Jones. Dante Morrow. Dante gets on Drew. Dante. Oh! Oh! oh. And defend on it. That was Tyson Higgins. That was the partner D Dante was going for on that pass. Ryan Jones. Whoa. Steps it off with a one-timer. And that one saved me there by Dom Papalardo. Wow. That was a shot right there. One-timer. To test him. Those cheerleaders. Here we are. Saying hello to the camera. Dante. At the point shot. Oh. Wide. Swamp's got wide. The puck. Timonowski. And we're back to even strength. Five on five again. Sagas wise. PBD Sagas. That's Tanners. <laughs> Like I said <laughs> before the telecast, I'm like, I need to correct myself. The last time I called a hockey game was last season <laughs> for Saugus, Saugus High School. Yeah. And I had experience of that, so bring it here. Oh! Lock, save made there by Tominowski. And now here comes up to about Swamp's got a shot. One way wide, left. A minute 50 left. Whoa, that oh, one went wow. off the stick. Pacheco, he comes back into the game. Yeah. Looks like the big guy's all right. It looks like he didn't, it didn't bother him that much. Oh, Larry Barrows with that big hit there. Wow. He's another big boy. PB Sox definitely has got the size. I mean, they do have the, they do have the size. He got Three, three big boys. You got Polaris. You got Trevor Pacheco. You got Larry Barrows. Yeah. I think I think Trevor Pacheco is the tallest on this team. Yeah. Six foot two, two hundred and sixty-five pounds. And he, and he doesn't move like a big guy, you know. So. Yeah. So Dante now will carry the puck up. Whoa, oh, he takes right. a body check. And now here, here comes Ryan Wood. Wood shots. That one went wide. Zach Hart. Now here comes Peabody Sagas. Here comes Dante. He's been busy. To the oh. goal. Oh, almost. Down. Swamp's gone. Sarkis Peabody. We're going to go to Polaris. But Swamp's got now. We'll, we'll have a rush up ice. We'll dump it in, avoid the offside. And that one will go to Tibinowski. For a stop it to play. 14 seconds. 14.5. Left here in the game. This period has been flying. Oh, absolutely. Flew by. And Timnoski will make the save. 
Hopefully we do this again. Yeah, hey. Had a, had a blast. Yeah, the next time when PVD saw, uh, when PVD TV needs to help, I'm willing to do it. Like <laughs> what? Like these games here. Yeah, it's been I'm, a great I'm, game. I'm willing to do another one. This is fun. Yeah. When Saugus TV does cannot do the coverage, I'm willing to help out Peter. All right. And that's going to do it. That's going to do it. From the McVean rink. Swamp's got what a 6 nothing win against PVD Saugus. And that will do it. Here in the announcement booths, yep. here on PVD TV YouTube and PVD Live Cable. Absolutely. Here on Comcast, and that'll wrap it up as the teams will line it up, and that'll do it. Our next, uh, the next game for these boys, Saugus PVD, will be on next Saturday as they host the Glossop Fishermen. Well, that'll be a great game. Yes, and we'll see who will have the coverage. And uh, that'll wrap it up. Nick Raphael, Jay Kamis. Kamis, yeah. Kamis. Yeah, we had a blast. Thanks uh, for Thank you for watching. having us, PVD TV. And um, we'll, see you, we'll see you next time. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, everyone.